This is called card throwing. We thought we'd include card throwing in this video just because of the popularity of it nowadays. I'm going to show you two types, the dealer type of card throwing and then the type where you can throw cards very far and accurately and maybe slice fruit or stick them into walls. To throw cards from a dealing position, you're going to slide off a card as if you were to deal it to somebody, but instead of actually taking it like this and putting it on the table, you're going to rotate your fingers around and grab the short end of the, the card. The first finger grabs around this corner. Your middle finger and thumb pinch the middle edge of the short end of the card. That's the position. And from here, you're going to throw it forwards with a little bit of a back spin to cause it to spin. Once you get good, you can accurately toss these cards anywhere you want. That's the position. Now I'm going to show you a technique for card throwing which is more geared for distance and accuracy. You're going to hold the card just like you did before with the finger over the corner and your middle finger and thumb pinching the edge, but this time you're going to do that along the long edge. The other difference is you're going to move your middle finger and thumb pinching position in further toward the middle. That's the position. You want this parallel to the ground. This is not touching your palm. The back side of the card is free. You're going to turn your hand this way, and the back of the card nearly touches your hand at this point, this back corner. From here, you're going to bend your arm, and you're going to throw a lot like a Frisbee. You're going to release this card at high velocity. It will kick off the tip of your finger, giving it the spin that it needs. But with the whole hand, arm, and wrist action forwards, it'll have a lot of forward momentum. Along with the spin, it'll maintain its flight pattern for quite a distance. People have been known to throw these football fields. You've seen people on TV cut fruit, and this is the basic technique. There's really not a lot to learn as far as technique. There's a lot to learn as far as mastering the subtlety of the throwing. It's a knack. It's going to take you some time to get it down well, but this is basically how it looks.